So we've got two prize winning uh, keepers at BFRB and that's now official. One we've got the world champion and the other one, just for a couple of days now, we've got the Asia Cup champion. So well done on that and I'd like to welcome Mitch Langerak. Hi Mitch. Hi, how are you? Not bad at all. Um, I was just wondering, we've got a bit of a strange looking bar here today. Have you ever been here before? Yeah, I've been here a couple of times before. It's, a, you know, it's got Australian food here and a, you know, it's a good Australian vibe, so it's, it's always good to pop down every now and then. Yeah, the bam boomerang, you know. Um, how important is it to have a little bit of Australia, a little, a little bit of home when you're away? Yeah, it's good. I think being here in Germany, it, it's always good to have uh, you know, like a feel of home, a touch of home, so it's good to come down and you know, it's, 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 it's a nice place. All the way back to the uh, to the Asia Cup. Um, if you think about, you know, you guys, you hosted it. When I think back to how it was for us over here in Germany, when we hosted the World Cup in 2006, we were going mental. You know, like we, we just couldn't wait. We couldn't wait for that thing to start. What was it like for you guys? Yeah, look, I think for the people in Australia, the build up for the for the games was fantastic. We were, we played in a few cities over all over Australia, so. Um, you know, fans from different cities got, got to see us and, you know, it was a little bit unexpected for all of us. We didn't expect it to be so big and, you know, it was, it was really, uh, you know, it was mind-blowing how, how it took off and, you know, hopefully football can continue on the same path and, you know, hopefully in the future football can remain, you know, as, as the, best, the best sport in Australia. It's, it's a bit different in Australia. It's not so, it's not as, as crazy as here in, in Germany, but, yeah, you know, yeah. you, you'd still feel the vibe and you could feel the, 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 the fans were all supporting us the whole way. For us to get started on the right foot was, was fantastic and then to move on in, in, in the later stages of the, of the of the tournament was was good that we had the we had a great star behind us and that gave us confidence to, to go through later in the tournament and then obviously uh, we beat China in the you know in the first knockout game and then we went to the the semi final against UAE we beat them and you know it was a big build up towards the final in in uh, Sydney and you know the fans were completely behind us there. You just say I mean uh, Australia's quite big some yeah. people out there might think it's like it's an island yeah. so it's small so what kind of distances we're talking? Yeah look it's it's a, it's a long way from from all over you know you more or less have to catch a flight to the to the cities where the games are my family had to drive 5 hours to get to the, to the game in Brisbane but you know, it was great they made the effort because then I, I could see them while I was in camp and, um, you know, it was good to have my friends and family all that. So the final was completely in your sights. Then up against South Korea again, and they hadn't conceded a goal up until that point, that's right. Four years ago, it went into extra time, one all. This time, it was better for you guys. Yeah, look, I think, um, you know, for a show, we've not won a major, major tournament before, so this was our first time. And, um, you know, for the people, for the fans, it was, it was fantastic. And, you know, to, to get to the final, and obviously we thought we'd, we had it won. They scored in the 93rd minute, and then we had to go to extra time. And then, obviously, we, we got the winner in extra time, which was, which was a, an amazing feeling for everybody. And, um, you know, it was, it was sort of like a, it was meant to be, you know. So um, yeah. for us, we, we, were, we were buzzing with the result, buzzing with the win, and the way the tournament panned out was, uh, you know, it was kind Kind of scripted for us. Jurgen's not listening. Okay, mm -hmm. how hard did you guys party after winning? No, it was it was not too bad. We uh, I had to catch a flight back to Europe the next day to come back to Germany. So um, you know the celebrations were, were good. We spent a lot of time with our friends and family who we'd not seen for so long, and um, you know it was it was great. And everybody was you know everyone was just really pumped for what it, what it does for football in Australia. So that was the most important thing. And you know to see football going forwards and taking big steps is what it's all about. So you were in Oz for about what a month? Yeah, or over a month actually. And now you're back in Germany. What did what you miss most? What you miss right now? Yeah, look, I think the, the main thing is probably just the weather and you know and the beaches and things like that. But um, every time I come back to Germany, it, it becomes more and more like home. And even when I'm in Australia for such a long time, it's I'm always excited to get back and I always look forward to get back because you know this is my life now at the moment. So you know I'm fully embraced and I'm very happy here. And you know I, I always can't wait to get back. You're quite laid back. You know you're like a kind of typical Australian. The way yeah. some of us kind of think. You know kind of laid back, got the thongs on, sort of walking down the beach, chilling. Is, is that a complete stereotype I've got there? Yeah, it's a stereotype of Australians, and I think a lot of us are like that. It's, it's a good way to be, and um, you know, it's just how you're brought up. It's just the lifestyle, and you know, that's how a lot of Australians are. So, so what do you do? What, what does the chilled out, the laid back Mitch do when he's not training or on the pitch or not preparing for a game? Yeah. What do you do? No, not a lot, to be honest. We, we take it easy. We, we enjoy the, the things we can do here in the city in Dorman. Um, you know, we, we go get coffees, we go, um, you, you know, go to different restaurants and things like that. And it's, it's a great city, a great vibe, and you know, we enjoy being here. Okay, well, Mitch, thanks very much for sharing some of these very special memories with us from, uh, from the Asia Cup and, of course, winning down under. That's just great news, and uh, I wish you all the best. No problems. Thank you very much. Thanks You're for welcome. having me. Thank you.